What's up YouTube? So I've been doing faux dreads in my hair with yarn as you can see. That's what my dreads are out of. And I kept out the front for you guys and that's why it's looking a little crazy. But I kept out the front so I could show you guys exactly how I do this and to give you some of my tips and also to direct you to some of the YouTubers that help me out on figuring out how to First thing I'm going yourself. to do is part this. Well, I'm going to part it and I'm going to actually scratch out like flakes and stuff and like re-grease this. So, um, I can probably put the link below or link it in the video, but I did a video on, um, flakes, like, two years, like, a year ago or so, like, two years ago or something. And flakes are not good to have in your hair. It usually means you're, just in general, flakes probably means you're not taking care of your scalp in some type of way. Flakes also could mean, most likely means that your hair is dry. Or is not getting enough moisture or grease to the scalp. And my hair is probably, because I have grease and stuff on my hair, on my scalp. But, it's probably like just causing the flakes. Because it's like reacting from not having this much grease and oil on my scalp for a long time so there's still flakes there and the fact that I um, didn't like try and scratch out flakes before I put the oil and grease in it and right now I'm just gonna walk you guys through doing the rest of my hair and then I'm gonna let you guys know some of the stuff that I did just in general with my hair and the things that I learned about doing the hairstyle. I'll tell you some of those things as they go because they're going to come up as I'm actually doing the yarn braids. These are also called yarn twists, yarn wraps, yarn dreads, faux dreads. And also, you can actually do this. Um, I saw somebody say that they did theirs with Bob Marley hair and uh, Cancalone hair. So I'm guessing from the way their picture looked, they they braided with the um, Bob Marley hair and then wrapped the Bob Marley hair with the Cancalone hair for the outside dread look. I would like to try it that way too, but not on myself. I only did this on myself because I was offering to do it for free. And that person really didn't... So someone said they were going to let me do it for free, but then they like stopped texting me back. So then I was just like, well, I'm just going to do it myself so I can get pictures up of the fact that I can do them. So it's like not an issue of being able to do them. Because I understand that people want proof and stuff that I can actually do the hairstyle before I do it on them. That's understandable. Okay, so now I'm about to just go ahead and grease it. I'm not parting it to actually do it. I'm just parting it to grease, put grease in it. And I'll also show you all the products and things that I use to do the hair. Also, ooh after I show you guys how to actually do the dreads and um, if you guys can I don't know like because I'm just recording right now but when I go to edit I'll be able to tell or not but um, I'm not going to do a lot of editing to this video um, but so if you guys can hear 
stuff in the background that is the toilet because I'm in the bathroom and it just makes noise so sorry and this is pretty even though I'm doing a small section this is pretty much how I grease my scalp I part it usually you know like I'll do bigger sections um, or bigger parts in my hair like not like little small ones like this like I'll go across kind of like the big part right here um, and put grease in it that way and then comb the grease through So now it's time to actually do the drip. Or to part the hair. Um, okay, so I'm going to do it one at a time. Even though when I actually was doing the rest of my hair, I would um, do all my parts and braid them and then um and then twist it but right now I'm just going to I'm not gonna part them all one at a time. I'm gonna just go ahead and part them and then braid them, part them and then braid them. So I already have um yarn measured out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting the yarn together right now. Okay. So. Here's my yarn. So here's my yarn. Hmm. I think this is actually this is the wrong bundle of yarn. That this is for the wrapping. So now I have to redo that step to get shorter pieces of yarn. So here's my yarn. Here's my yarn. And I'm going to take it and go like this and make it even. So as you can see at the ends, it's pretty even. And now I'm going to take this string and put it in the middle so I put this string in the middle so now I have three strands and before I start to braid this I'm going to take Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream and put it on my hair I really didn't put a lot and then I'm gonna take it and braid it braid these three braid the strings into my hair and I'm just gonna braid a little bit past where my hair stops so my hair hasn't stopped yet so I'm just going to keep going. So my hair has pretty much stopped now. So I'm just going to keep going for a little 
bit. So my hair pretty much stops right here. And I kept braiding to right here. So now I'm going to part one Big more. James home. Big James home. Big James home. It's TGIF. 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 Shout out to the undergrad. Shout out to the undergrad. Uh, look inside of my soul. 40 ounce of brew. Have to make sure you don't let it knot up, as I have done. I don't hit the blunt, but I'm stuck drinking all mud. Residue all in my cup. Conversation about rap. Now you don't have to keep braiding for a little bit. I just do because I feel like the braid helps um, form the dread better. Just gives you more of like a reference or a mold. So that's why I just keep going until basically I'm tired of braiding it, basically. But um, I think it does make it a lot easier to at least braid to the end of your hair, your own hair. And most people in the tutorials that I saw on YouTube did braid to the end of their hair. So my hair ends right here. And this is how much is left. So my braid ends right here. And then I kept braiding to right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I actually do a dread. So I'm going to take the three strings, which are way longer than the length of the braided yarn. So this is like not even going to get in frame at all. So it's really long. Okay, so I start underneath just so where you're starting isn't detectable. So, I put, this is the underneath part of my braid, so, and this is the beginning of the yarn. So, I put that on the underneath part. So, it's on the underneath part, right here. And then I hold it with one hand and wrap with the other. Over that part that I just put down. And then I try to get as close to the scalp as possible when wrapping my first couple wraps. And I do that wrap around about twice. And then I start go going down again. And trying to make sure that the yarn that I put on the underneath part when I first started to wrap is not detectable. So making sure that I wrap around that part. So I don't feel the ends of the yarn peeking out. So as you can see, the yarn, the uh, dread is starting to form. And this yarn keeps like wrapping around my arm. So I just keep going round and round and round. And as you um, are putting this around the braid, it is going to tighten on your scalp, but the thing is it will unravel a little bit so it won't be as tight when you finally let 
the dread go. So one thing that I kind of learned from doing it on my own because I watched a million YouTube videos and I thought, okay, I, I took pieces from everybody's um, videos that I liked and didn't like. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it this way, I'm going to do it that way, I'm going to do it this way. But then when you finally go to do it, some things just don't work. So I'm going to show you some of the methods that I did at first. But this is the method that actually works that I'm doing right now. And what I learned was is that it really helps to hold down the actual loose yarn that's left from the braid that you were creating. So I'm holding it. And one finger is holding my index finger and my thumb are holding down the yarn that I'm putting around to actually create the dread look and it's helping the braid that yarn stay in place so it doesn't twist but it's helping the yarn that needs to be twisted to actually um, twist and go around so that's really important to hold that hair and uh, with one of your hands, um, to hold that yarn with one of your hands to keep it in place as well as it helping you get the yarn around the um, loose yarn from the braid. <laughs> um, also, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm kind of overlapping the yarn that I'm twisting around the braid. So I'm not like just going a, l a little bit at a time down the braid because if you do that, once you let it go, it's going to unravel and it's going to, you're going to see through the yarn that you twisted. You're going to be able to see the braid and see the loose yarn that you were twisting around. So that's why you need to make sure you overlap the yarn and you need to do it tight, really tight. So you need to put up with the pain of pain and the tightness on your real hair as you're doing it because it will loosen um, when you let go. And that's why you need to do it so tight. It's so when it loosens, it doesn't just unravel. So I'm still going. And my um, dreads are, my yarn dreads are really long. Because I just like long hair, period, no matter what style it is. Um, I just like long hair. And um, I wanted to be able to put this up in a bun or something. And as you can see, with this length that I have in my hair, it is taking a very long time to get where I want it to be. So if you are doing this on your own and you are um, wanting it to be long, it is going to take you a very, very long time. One YouTuber that I watched said that to get down, hers were about this long, but she said that it took her probably six to seven minutes to get done with one braid just because it takes so long. So my yarn is starting to run out. So as you can see right here, this is the yarn, three pieces of yarn that I'm wrapping around the braid and this, one of the pieces is starting to run out even though these are really long still so what you're going to do is take this the piece from the braid and you're going to tie it make a knot out of it so just do one of the like first steps that you do when you tie your shoe just knot it and then you knot it twice most people on youtube knot it theirs twice and I think that is good from experience. I think knotting it twice is what you really should do because it will unravel if you only knot it once. 
and let me just check the length of this and I definitely want I do want this to be longer but the thing is if you want your um if you want your braid to be longer you have to make sure that if you want your dread to be longer you have to make sure that what you're braiding with is long because I could keep going because what I was twisting with is still going but I had the yarn from the braid what I'm wrapping around there isn't anything so you have to make sure that foundation is exactly where you want it to be for it's actually come out right and your foundation for this hairstyle is the braid so because my yarn from the braid is running out I have to stop the braid even though this is not the length that I wanted it to be there's nothing I can do now I guess I probably could braid on some more hair and keep going around but I'm not gonna do that that's doing too much but so it's like right here right below my boob when most of it was to my waist but that's okay so I guess my front parts are probably gonna be a little bit shorter than the rest but that's okay because it's framing it's gonna help it frame my face anyway So this is what you do to secure the end. You don't have to do this part, but if you really want it to be extra secure, I would recommend doing this as well as other YouTubers um, recommend it. So you just take a lighter and you light the ends that um, you just cut off. And then kind of mold it. To how you want it. And what I do is I kind of just go on a little bit of the rest of the hair. Just for a couple seconds to make sure that that's kind of secure too and it's not going to unravel. And then that's how I do it. Time to go. It's time Leave it up to me. It's my time to blow. My time to blow. It's time to go. Leave it up to me. It's my time to blow. My time to blow. It's time to go. Leave it up to me. It's my time to blow. My time to blow. My time to blow. Leave it up to me. It's my time to blow.